right what's up guys welcome back to the channel for another video i hope you guys are doing great and you and if you are new to the channel my name is watson we have the is350 and the gx460 which is not here because um i forgot to tell my wife to leave the car but she'll be back in about an hour or so we are good so in today's video i'm going to install an oem trailer hitch on the tx all right guys let's make it happen this is what comes in the box this is your trailer hitch right here and you have the hardware the spacers it's kind of strange because you supposed to have a manual in there like a guide to tell you how to install this but uh, it's not in there maybe whoever packed this from fact totally forgot to um put it in there so it's just strange now there are a few stuff that you need to buy separately like a ball and um that's the part number right here and it has a capacity of fourteen thousand pounds not that you're gonna tow fourteen thousand pounds with the tx but it's good to have and we also still have the um bomb mount and that's the part number right here and this one has a capacity of um ten thousand pounds and um i also grabbed these on amazon i'll put the link all right four days later and i'm back to finish this and yeah i know it's hot it's like it's about 9 a.m now and it's already like 90 degrees so let's just do this as fast as we can so yeah let's make it happen so this is our hardware and the, this is the wire cover and make sure you have some electrical tape so you can get this done and a little knife like this and i have all my tools my proper tools right here so we can get the job done super fast and uh, before you start you have to drop this spare spare tire but i feel like i don't have to do this right now so this is on the need of the car what i'm gonna do is on uh, unhook the exhaust right here and over here i have to remove this and disconnect the wire and then down here there's one bolt right here and there's a bolt right there and i believe there's another one right up here so i have to remove this piece right here so i can remove that one right there so that's what i'm i'm kind of try to do first before i drop this spur tire all right now i know why they want you to drop this spur tire first because um there's like one boat right here and the tire is on on the way so there's no way to get to it without dropping this spur tire and to drop this spur tire you're gonna come here and um take this thing out and um down here you're gonna have to pop this out you pop this off and then underneath of here i mean you can't really see. maybe the, the the camera won't catch it it's right in there what you're gonna do you're gonna take that one i tried this earlier and then you're gonna just 
do it like this and then um, you're gonna grab this one Driver here, you can screw it. So, pretty much, this is what it's gonna look like like this. And you just kind of insert it in here. So, these bolts down here are all over the place. You have 17 up here. Um, 12 right here, 10 right here, and a 12 right there. And right here, it'll be a 12 here, and a, a 10, and a 12 up there as well and don't do what I did take take that um, 10 off first and then take the oh, oh, other bolts off now what you gonna do is this connect um, that plug right here and now I just have to remove this piece right here and it's a 212 now the next step is to um, cut this wire tip right here so we can extend the wire and just like that you have a lot more wire and now we just just kind of add this to it and now all i have to do is add some electrical tape all right just like that it's good now I have to put that piece back and I have to unhook the exhaust as well Okay, just like that, I put this piece back and now I just have to install the cable tie. It's gonna be somewhere right here. All right, now the next thing you have to do is remove the, the, the wire harness plug from this bracket and install it in this one right here and I believe what you do is just press these and then you push it up yep there we go just like that and then for this one it's gonna be like this like just like that and as you can see here it's all firm in there so yeah now let's move on to the next chapter and the next thing we 
Canado is unhooked the exhaust right there so uh, it's a tight space I cannot hold the cam mirror and do this at the same time so pretty much that's what you do and you just press and pull this part out so this is how it's gonna be this is your spacers right here and um, keep sliding down and then that's your boat there's four boat and it's a size 17 and then you got two boat right here is the same one but for this one right here and that one up there they are these little one and the size is a 12 and it's the same thing for here and there as well so now let's just install this and see how it goes because that thing is heavy so once you get here there are four bolts and one right there one right here and there's one in here and one in there and the torque spec for those is 65 foot pound and um that one right here these two again is 65 foot pound and then those two up here those small ones are 18 foot pound and it's the same thing for this you're gonna have to put this hook back and it's 65 foot pound 18 foot pound and for your wire connector the bolts are right here again it's 18 foot pound now the only thing that i have left to do is um put the tire back and wait i forgot to put the ex exhaust back as well um hook it back up so that's pretty much it and then we all set with this whoo man whoo man 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 let me tell you um do not do this thing by yourself if you can have someone to help you have someone help you because this thing oh my god as it as you can see um i'm gonna show you a few, a few clips because i didn't even record th this process to put that thing up there because it, it it was it was just too much i had to use use some the jack stand and i had to take the, the tire off completely and this thing was so he heavy man you doing this by yourself and it's heavy like that it's just, it, it's just not fun I did, I did, <laughs> at this point man it just wasn't fun anymore it, it was oh my god so here's a tip for you guys if you have the sport design package you have that extra lip right here you're gonna have to remove this piece right here which is what i did you're gonna have to remove this because um this thing will not go to here unless you take this piece off so i guess that's why lexis um made it like this so you can we move it and this is all the clips in there so i'm just gonna store this somewhere and Just like that i am all set i'm all done um <laughs> man it, it, it it's been a long day i would say man don't be like me if you're gonna do this have someone help you because um it's not like it's 
it's hard to do but it's just this thing is so heavy for you to lift it like and then to install it on the car like to install it on the frame it's just it, it it's just hard man it's hard even though i i have like proper jack jack stand it's just it, it was still hard i would say if you put this in on a leaf and have someone help you it'll be a lot easier and i'm not gonna install these because i'm not going to tow anything right now so that's the ball again this is the part number and that's the ball mount and that's the part number right here ball mount and ball all right thank you for watching i hope you guys have a good afternoon good morning good night and yeah i will catch you guys on the next one